I think the Catholic ethos is to better yourself and that's why there's such an a drive to do well. Maybe because Catholics got a harder time, it was just sort of ingrained in their culture a bit in Northern Ireland that they did try harder. Politicians are busy arguing about um, issues that they consider culturally important but aren't having any effect, you know, economically or in terms of bettering their societies. I don't think it has anything to do with like faith or religion. I just think it's no one's fault but your own. If you're not really pushing yourself to do well in school, then you're losing out. Newton Abbey Community School used to have poor results, but over the last number of years, things have started to change for the better. These students were surprised to hear that Protestant boys aren't reaching I, their full potential. Um, this is the first I've actually heard of it, that Protestant boys don't achieve as much as the others, but if they don't, you know, maybe it's the lack of work from them. Maybe it's, you know, the way they're brought up in their estate or something, the way, you know, they're hanging about with and people like that. Girls just seem to work harder, they're more concerned about their future, whereas boys are a bit more relaxed about that kind of stuff. Like the word's coming out that all the Catholics are doing better in school than Protestants are doing better in school, so now the Protestants are going to have to like, lift their game and start revising more and doing better in tests and stuff like that. The principal says poorer Protestant areas do face significant social problems, and for some of his pupils, even getting to school is a major achievement. There are many of them that have complex difficulties and challenges, um, both within school and outside school, many of them easily influenced by uh, other interests out of school, should it be the paramilitary organisations or should it be uh, other, other attractions. The massive gap between students and their Catholic counterparts is concerning the man who wrote the report and he says there will be consequences. And the real problem with this is that we're creating inequalities that will later uh, show themselves in the kind of incidents we've seen over recent years, i.e. in terms of public disorder, in terms of a young generation which feels it has no roots out of its poverty. And out of that inequality comes anger. And out of that anger, well, I'm afraid we have a very unsettled political future. Across Belfast and the girls at St Dominic's have their own theories about why they're doing well. In the past, I think, in Catholic working class families especially, they didn't really have any other opportunities and education was the way to get out and get jobs and open so many doors. So I think that's why now education is being pushed and that's why we're doing so well. My family are from a working class Catholic family. So I feel that why I work so hard at school now is because I appreciate education because say my granny, for example, like she wasn't given the opportunity to pursue her education despite like being an intelligent woman. So um, I know that I would be almost stupid to throw this opportunity away. What about Protestant boys and Catholic girls then? Why do you think that Protestant boys aren't doing so well? I think the problem mainly seems to be that Protestant boys are being ignored because real issues such as education are being overshadowed by political issues from the past that aren't relevant in today's society. Debates such as I don't mean to offend anyone, but debates such as the flag issue don't seem to me to be as important as what's going on in loyalist communities. Personally, I think that it isn't down to intelligence. I think everybody's a genius, but you need to home in on the right strength. You need to target the strengths that people have. And perhaps that the Protestant boys aren't given the opportunities that we are, that people would find a strength in us, target it and develop it. And that would make our education so much better. And they wouldn't have that opportunity, I would think. What is the strength of this school is that we do have a certain amount of diversity. Um, you know, obviously we have a high percentage of children in free school meals. It's five times the average for grammar schools. Um, and I suppose we're not we're not focused on what people have or what they haven't got. Everybody is is um, judged on their merit and how it's really it's about your work ethic. Protestant working class boys are being locked out of employment. Remember that even if we get investment into areas like East Belfast, these kids will not be able to get access to those jobs because they simply don't have the qualifications.